Our project is on the conflict with India versus Pakistan over Kashmir. The groups involved are India and Pakistan. Oh, I lost. <laughs> this is considered a multi-state national conflict because there are two countries and two religions clashing. India and Pakistan both want to have sole control over Kashmir. Where's that one? The map on the right shows India and Pakistan at a global scale, and the map on the left shows a close-up of India and Pakistan and Kashmir's proximity to these countries. India and Pakistan used to be a part of the British Empire. British, Britain then split them into arbitrary lines based off of religion where India was mostly Hindu and Pakistan was mostly Muslim. Pakistan declared independence on August 14th in 1947 and India did the next day. Kashmir stayed undecided. This is a representation of the religions in Kashmir. Uh, around 70% are Muslim, 30% are Hindu, and there's a very small percentage of Sikh and Buddhism. Pakistan backed a Muslim rebellion in Kashmir. India sent troops to fight for the Hindu Prince of Kashmir. Border war resulted and ended with line of control, and about a third of Kashmir was on Pakistani side. A second war fought over the line in 1965, then something promising happened. Relations then improved after 9-11 when Pakistani troops fought against Al-Qaeda. Then a full ceasefire was declared in 2003. Then in 2008, tensions flared again. Pakistani terrorists arrived by boat in Mumbai and conducted 10 bombings and shooting attacks. More than 180 people died and 300 were injured. Peace talks between the Indian and Pakistani prime ministers happened in 2009 and 2011. Then, in early October 2014, conflict over Kashmir led to renewed violence. In only the past couple of months, teenagers have been set on fire by police, armed militants were killed by Indian forces, children have been set on fire by terrorist groups, and innocent family homes have been burnt down. These occurrences are routine, along with the blatant ignoring of the ceasefire line. There have been multiple attempts in the past to firmly establish peace or at least permanent and dutifully respected ceasefire line, all of which have been unsuccessful and simply resulted in additional conflict. I think that to gain any considerable ground toward the goal of peace in this situation, there should be an official and obvious ceasefire line established and rules regarding the line should be enforced and non with, with nonviolent motives. Along these lines, consequences to those who violate the rules there will most likely be further conflict in Kashmir. Conflicts between Pakistan and India have seemed to have died down, but the secret hangings of some Pakistanis in India have let the conflict resurface. There could also be possible conflict among the people of Kashmir. Kashmir is divided between those who want to be a part of India and those who wish to belong to Pakistan, causing inner turmoil inside the country. The, con the continuous wars in Kashmir have left the country in despair. Bombings and gunfire have destroyed the country and will lead to environmental harm such as pollution. The culture of Kashmir will become very mixed. The people of the country will have a mix of Pakistani culture and Indian culture along with their own traditional culture. Oh.
The solution to the border problem seemed successful at first. Both sides ceased fire and peace had been restored for a few years. The problem with the solution is that there was no closure between India and Pakistan. Also, India created more conflict as a result of the secret hangings of Pakistani military. Peace between these two countries is a possibility, but at the moment it is not obtainable. Thank you.